This is a basic tutorial on how to apply mapping of buttons using Click Assistant to Frostboard. This first window has several key components you should be familiar with. The top right is the Load button. This allows you to load a mapped layout previous save. The action interval time, based on milliseconds. This is the time the app recognizes between actions, so keep it 4 milliseconds. Delay start time, 0. Loop duration, 0. Stop script after one time. Start service. In order to use Click Assistant Overlay, you should click Start Service and each time you map an option. Next to the Load button is a Paint Roller. Click it to change what loads on the application overlay. This is the Personalization tab. In the Center tab, let's see the order of controls. When saving a mapping option, we should have the following buttons on our overlay. Play button, which allows the action to work. Hide, this will hide our mapped overlay buttons. Collapse and expand, self-explanatory. Delete a gesture, recording a gesture. Click gesture, save script, and close. After saving our mapped overlay, by coming back to this screen, you will only need the play button and hide options. Now that we have our personalization of the overlay appropriated, let's use this for the first time to save an overlay, then to load it for later uses. On this screen, of course, our action interval time, the very top default setting, should actually be 4 milliseconds. We want this to be fast. Now let's start service. You can see my overlay, this is what I've been talking about, will be with us throughout the game. So, Okay, the purpose of this is actually to set in motion gestures, mapping. I can delete this. So. Alright. Let's start with our first gesture. I'll take this one and I will put it over the top of my inventory button. By doing this, later I can move it. So then, guess one. Two, I like to keep it right here. That way I know always whatever item is inside this inventory slot will always be used whenever I hit the play button later on. Click use and click exit. So then I'm going to take the one and move it back down to my inventory slot and let's hide this. That way we can see what's going on. I'm not going to be able to actually use the shock traps. By hitting play, it goes directly inside. And I've already used it without even having to click any buttons at a, at a later time. Let's save this. Call it speed. Nope, it's not going to let me. I'm going to have to adjust it. First. There we go. <laughs> and then click the save button. File saved. Go try. Now go to the personalization screen. Let's rearrange the order of controls. We're going to remove 
to, let's see, remove the recording gesture, delete gesture, click gesture, save script, and close. This is all we need to see. Now that we have saved our mapped buttons, let's try out Click Assistant without the large overlay save menu to maximize screen visibility. Of course, our overlay has only three options. To play, to hide, and to minimize. We will go back here to the start service on initial uh, startup. So start service. Load Burr's Pot. Start app. And you will notice sometimes that the map button is have moved. So this is where it would be key. Verify where the buttons need to be. Hide. Let's enter a zone. Now that I you have used my speed potion, I'm not going to be able to use my berserk, but I can switch anything into that position and then quickly use it. By click by simply clicking the load button. Hope you enjoyed this. How to use click assistant.